It's CJ Boulay, you bastards. What's going on, everybody? Fish tank lovers, DJ Bootleg lovers. <laughs> What's going on? <clears throat> DJ Bootleg here, Nico, whatever you want to call me. I want to do a real quick video here on the uh, on ammonia in uh, freshwater fish tanks. Um, I want to go over what it is, what it comes from, and uh, how to prevent it, how to get rid of it. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, Ammonia is pretty much just fish waste, you know, uh, poor water quality, um, rotting plants, dead fish in the water. Overfeeding is the number one cause of ammonia poisoning, and uh, ammonia poisoning is the number one cause of fish deaths. So it kind of goes hand in hand there. Um, uh, don't overfeed your fish. That's what a lot of people seem to do. Fish always seem hungry, so don't fall for it. They just want more food. Um, and usually they don't even eat it, you know, they're just bored, so they keep pecking that stuff, so it kind of gives you the per perception of being hungry, but they're really not. Um, I just put a little bit at a time, make sure to eat it all, about two, two to three pinchfuls, depending how many fish you have. I have a lot of fish in, in uh, certain tanks, I have six tanks, so, yeah. Um, feed them once a day, that's what I do, or you can feed them every other day and feed them a little bit more if you like to see them eat or you can feed them very small bits uh, every two to three times a day somewhere around there make sure that all the food is getting eaten if uh, you see the food in there for more than two to five minutes take it out scoop it out grab it whatever they don't want it anymore it's as simple as that uh, if you see any if you have any dead live plants get it out any dead fish obviously get it out um, <clears throat> And I mean, that's pretty much the cause of it right there. Uh, less, not enough filtration, overfeeding, stuff like that, fish waste, uh, unclean, uncleansliness, uh, vacuum the gravel at least every other week, um, change out the filters, not at the same time, do it a few days apart, uh, stuff like that is how to, um, what's the number one cause of it? Now, to prevent it, live plants is the number one rule. And then to prevent ammonia, live plants thrive off of uh, ammonia, nitrites, and stuff like that. They soak it all up. That's what they, that's what they pretty much eat. You know. Um, so the more live plants you have, the less likely of uh, ammonia you're gonna have. Cycling your fish tank before you put fish in. Make sure you cycle it for at least four to five days. Uh, keep on doing water changes. Um, put some beneficial bacteria in there. Make sure all that. Uh, Bacteria bloom is happening. If your if your water gets cloudy during the first couple days, it's good. That's the uh, bacteria starting to bloom. This tank over here has been cycling for two weeks now. Um, I tore it down, put new uh, new gravel in there, whatnot. Transferred over to this tank. Anyway, um, that's ready for um, fish in there. It's got plenty of bacteria in there and whatnot. Um, let's see. Uh, Overstocking your fish is also a cause of it. Overstocking your, your tanks with fish, I'm sorry. Um, general rule of thumb is, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, one fish per, per gallon or one inch of fish per gallon, depending on how big they are. Uh, make sure you have a good filter on there. I use Whisper, or I used to use Whisper, now I use Aquium. Uh, filters are really good, but any filter is good, you know, as long as it's not no generic or whatever. I don't even know how to make it generic. Anyway, I like to go 10 gallons over what my tank is. Let's say you have a 50 gallon tank. Get a uh, filter that does 60 gallons, you know? So it kind of gives you a little bit of leeway there. Lots of live plants. Make sure you keep the water clean. Do water changes. Clean the gravel every other week. Um, make sure you test your water every other week. Every week, if you can. Don't use the strips. Strips are no good, they're garbage. Um, use like API Master Kit liquids and the uh, thing you want to keep an eye out for that is if you use like Seatum Prime, other type of dechlorinators, they kind of set off the uh, uh, ammonia um, ammonia testing in some of those kits, so you got to keep that in mind. <coughs> the whole point is to catch it early so you can get rid of it. Um, uh, aquarium salt is good, put some, uh, I think it's one teaspoon depending on what you have per five gallons it's good it's a natural way I don't really like to use medication like drops and stuff to get rid of it other than you know your primer and your um, dechlorinator put a few drops of that in there if you catch uh, high ammonia levels 
uh, clean the gravel. I keep repeating myself, but that's really important. Um, I mean, yeah, that's that's pretty much the ammonia in a nutshell. How to get rid of it, what it is, how to prevent it. Uh, live plants. <laughs> that's like the that's that's I, I, I that's what I do. You know, I, I I have a bunch of live plants in all of my tanks. Uh, at least two. At least two. I have a ton of live plants. The more the merrier. Please. It, Produces oxygen. It makes a good hiding spot for the fish. Plus, it's edible for some fish. If um, you know, if you, if you go, if you forget to feed them or whatever, you go out of town. So uh, anyway, guys, I'm gonna put a little chart on the screen. Kind of like gives you a little diagram of how it works. So um, yeah, I mean that's about it, guys. Make sure you cycle your tank without the fish for about four to five days at least. The longer, the better to get that bacteria in there. Um, they do sell products to put bacteria in the water, but don't just go rely on that. Put a little bit of that. Still wait. Anyway, guys, more fish videos to come. God bless. Thank you. Peace. Cocaine and murder. That's all I know. I'm living on the edge to see how far I go. Rob or do whatever to get.